This is Airbus Gaming 7, and we are on Elden Ring for the first time. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Uh, I have played a little bit of this game. I even streamed a little bit of it months ago. But it has been, I mean, I maybe played an hour, so. Uh, I think I'm going to go Confessor. Let's see, show attributes. All right, start over here. Uh, Vagabond. Yo! How's it going? Welcome. Uh, vigor, strength and dex. So that's like the knight, right? Warrior. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. Samurai looks cool, but I think I'm gonna go confessor. Let's see, Vigor 10, Mind 13, which I think that's magic, right? Endurance 10, Strength 12, uh, Dex 12, Intelligence 9. So is Mind more like Attunement, maybe? Probably. Faith 14, Arcane 9. Okay, I'm confused. Uh... Yeah, let's go Confessor. Uh, Nyx. Uh, so is that the, that's the difference between guy and girl? No? You played this game a lot? Well, I haven't. <laughs> Young Origin Keepsake. Uh, Crimson Amber Medallion. Does it there any information? Go. Oh, it's up there. Medallion in with Crimson Amber increases maximum hit points. Okay, so life ring. Uh, Gild Grace is shining eyes. You just gave me a rune, so a soul item. Sacred Flask. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Dominion of Golems. I don't know what that's for. That's crafting, which I know crafting is a thing, but. Okay, so that's like a fragrant branch. No. Not a fragrant branch of yours, the turn into something. Five pieces of bold prawn boost physical damage. Alright, we're going Golden Sea. That seems like the smartest. Uh. girl so the body's have to be the girl <laughs> nice uh, <laughs> I was a bearded girl for a few seconds Spend too much time on character creation. Hello, Sam. Hey, welcome in. Oh, look, it's been too much time on character creation. I think we're good. Sure. Am 
My plan is to play for about an hour, hour and a half. Find a good stopping point. I have to be up in the morning. Confessor is a good choice. Well, like I said, I played this for about an hour months ago. And I looked at the Confessor and that seemed to be the right place for me. Kind of a strength. I remember they got a heal spell and like a spook spell, right? You were a confessor? Cool. Your friend went confessor? I've been doing pretty good. How you been doing, Sam? Last night my uh, calf, right calf, was giving me cramps, but doing pretty, doing all right now. You been doing good. Awesome. Okay. Let's skip. Hello, Erebus. Doing well, Bosco. Welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, all the controls are pretty much the same, except there's a jump, right? What is this game? You can jump? What? Yeah. I don't know if it's just because the way I was sitting, because I went streamed for like five hours last night. Maybe five, maybe too long. Sitting in the wrong position, maybe. Yeah, child of the horses are pretty bad. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, you're in the tra giant was tragic. Mm. You got his cramp when you were stretching. Ouch. Um, finger seal. Oh, that's my talisman, I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, close. Use right messages to other worlds. Okay. I think I'm going to be hitting A a lot for that. You've watched so many lore videos about Elden Ring? I'll probably watch some of them. But I haven't yet. His people hated him and sacrificed himself only to kill all the people. Yep. Poor Yorn. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's a lot of people flying. That's good and bad, right? Giants in general said, yeah. Roll way too soon there. I did three points of damage to him, guys. <laughs> I know you're supposed to, well, I think I've seen people beat him with the bow, but I know you're not really supposed to beat him. It's not expected. 
No. <laughs> but this is a From Software game. Fair is not part of their agenda. Not sure if it's just me, uh, but your health bar was cut off. DS3 is mostly fair. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get a horse in, well, a kind of a horse in this game. We can how many times the game this isn't fair for my cousin. Fortune is on her uh. side. We found her here after yeah. all. Very excited for the DLC. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a DLC coming. That's cool. Hmm. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Well, we don't want to violate the Golden Order. I don't even know what that is. I watched a video about a guy complaining about how terrible this game was, but it still got Game of the Year and all that. Yeah, the DLC was announced a little while ago. It's called The Shadow of the Erd Tree. Cool. That's my Estus. Cave of Knowledge. Jump down the hole ahead and you'll find the Cave of Knowledge. There you can learn more about the game controls. Mm. Give up. Nice. That's a great uh, message here. There at the beginning. Uh, Sights of Grace, they're basically bonfires, right? Uh, I don't know, man, this game seems to have no sense of fairness. Some parts are a breeze, others are extremely challenging. It just goes back and forth. Try finger butt hole. Well, I mean, I'm going to try it. If, I, if it's. If I don't like it, I'll stop playing it. Uh, okay, alright. Lock on the same. Uh, RB attack. Right. Fourteen souls. Uh, sorcery and connotation. You can remember sorceries? Yeah. The devs implemented the LP sword only for to be indicated while entering certain areas, so what was the point of adding it then? I don't know. Right, the philosophy of this game is if a part's too hard, go explore for a while and come back. Makes sense. Guarding, you're teaching me how to block, okay. Dodging. Uh, do we ever have exploring to beat something in DS3? Uh, no. In DS1, my first playthrough, I do recall doing a lot of grinding. 
but that was my inexperience. Less the that was me not being good at the game. Rot. Uh, each hand can be equipped, equipped to three armaments. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Kick doesn't work anymore. And let's go. Is it open world? You might end up in a place that's too high level, right? You might go straight to the skeletons in Dark Souls 1. Right. Urgent heal. Cool. Oh, that didn't seem very urgent. Sad then. Oh yeah, DS1 was the one where I had to grind a lot. By the time I got to DS3, I was fine. Oh god, he! I could have had a critical there or something. Skills. Skills are highly varied. Range from powerful weapons, temporary effects. So my skill is. We both suck, bro. That's oh, alright. I've never been good at parrying. Down the head. Nice. Crouching. Yeah, that's right. There's stealth in this game. I forgot about that. Travis, could you go tell us when you feel a boss or me boss feels like it's bullshit? Uh, yeah. You'll, uh, probably be able to tell by my interactions. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I feel if I'm getting too frustrated with something. I was getting frustrated with uh, what was it? Uh, the name was King the other day, and uh, yeah, people had to come in and help me. Hold RT and charge attack while jumping RT jump attack. Okay. That's new. Uh, Sex of Marika. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace you visited. However, if there's a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Right. I vaguely remember that. You'll be counting them? Oh, there you are. Guard counters when performing counterattack immediately after block an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. Uh, right trigger right after block. Okay. Your favorite boss. Well, that one's not wasn't too difficult. <laughs> I kind of did. First off, well done. Well, thank you. Praise the Lord. 
How did you die? I guess you. Imagine there'd be a fog wall there. Maybe you took a chip damage jumping down? Oh, you jumped in the hole. You jumped in the hole. Why is it always death? Strength. Yeah, this boss is just supposed to teach you stuff. Yeah. I don't know if he's supposed to be a boss or not. I think uh, I think he's a tutorial thing, just teaching you how to do that. Uh, watch the tone for Elden Ring again. I don't know. Touch Grace. And this is where, if I had taken that key item, I could go down there. But I want to say it's like super difficult down there, isn't it? It's like a challenge area or something. Precious item ahead, time for bravery. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Uh, cooperation multiplier, use tarnish for finger to write a golden... Okay, so this is your nice. Are there covenants in this game? Fingers ahead. Regret ahead. I believe that. Yeah, I want to say one of the reviewers that called this game terrible immediately attacked this guy and kept dying to this guy. So therefore the game was terrible. You've only played Elden Ring, so Elden Ring is better. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I've only played Dark Souls, so. Can't answer. Right. By following the little arrow. Oh yeah, I can do something with my flask now. Uh, add charge to flask. Yes. Okay, so that just gave me another Estus. Yeah, because I had three in one. Okay. Uh, use your map to check your map. What? Oh, Neon, you're going to lurk? Okay, cool. Only 4K online. Use your map to check your current position as well as try and surround it. You can update your map with some information about finding That's right. Oh yes. Tarnish the queen. Come to yeah. the hands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however. I mean, why do you gotta call me out like that? Guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me. No maidens, I know. Are you familiar with Grace? The golden light that gives life to you I don't see them doing a sequel like they did with Dark Souls 2 where they have another team working on it. I'm pretty sure they'd have the same team, especially since 
You know, Dark Souls 1 was successful, but it wasn't nearly as successful like Elden Ring. Grace's guidance holds the It will lead you to the path you are meant to follow. But you're right, you never know. Alright. I don't know if I'm supposed to get great wisdom from you or not, but I doubt it. You're from software NPC. Look. We got a Sigurd dude down there. Neat. So. We're not going to mess with him yet. Have I ever tried RC Cola? When I was a kid. I haven't had it in years. Kind of tastes, if I remember correctly, it tastes kind of like a cheap Pepsi. You want to try it badly? It's a cola. I wouldn't. Ruined Fragment. What is a ruined fragment? Uh, material for crafting arms. Okay. Yes. I've heard it tastes good. Uh, I remember it kind of tastes like, kind of like Pepsi, but. There's some good lore with the rune fragments. Uh, okay. Make sure I'm not going to get attacked by the horse guy. Uh, some fragments found near places where runes have fallen from the sky. It can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. These shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. Well, that's cool. No. I did not... I mean, good storytelling? No, I mean... I was able to... deal with it, and it wasn't didn't deter me from the game, but I can't say it had good storytelling. You're a merchant, right? On a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Okay, that's cool. Smithing stone. I guess that's like Titanite, huh? Telescope. Nice. Ooh. Chainmail. I have been called Santa before. Oh, this guy's Santa, not me. That's cool. I love the fact that Chainmail is right here. Uh, do I need a torch? Let's buy it. Do I have 200 runes? Apparently I do. Uh, note imparting knowledge in brief. Rooms held, so I could buy both of those, but I don't know if they're worth it. The torch is useful. Okay. I want to say... I got to right past, well, 
Can I sneak up on him? Well, let's just give you a lot of impression about things. That's a big old squirrel. So I know, yep, yeah, let's do it at the bonfire. Are they far? Is facing away from me. Okay. Materials. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms, and various other materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Okay. How important is item crafting in this game? Apparently room fragments are fairly common. I have never crafted anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for that information. <laughs> I want to say my brother complained about having to craft arrows to me one time. Alright, let's see how we can do without sneaking. Hey buddy. Here I am. Bolts. Nice. I found it be useful. You can craft items that give you uh, resistance to fire and the like. Yeah. You just buy arrows like the other games. Okay. First off, tranquility. Try a guard counter. Seek angel. Well, looks like I found a place for the torch already. Why do the wolves have a campfire? It's a bunch of wolves. There's an item there. Oh wait, hold on. I don't know if this is going to make a difference or not. Has some hit points. Oh, and some damage on him. Ah, you know, it is a Dark Souls tradition for canines to suck.
a cracked pot. I did that for a cracked pot. Pray the message. The behold a secret passage. I oh, still have trolls, I said, apparently. Attack thing. Blocking. Heavy attack. Glowstone? Is that like prism stones, probably? I'm guessing. Rump. Nice. Ah. Ahead. Boss ahead. Ooh. Alright, well let's back away then. <laughs> Not that I'm a coward, but I'm scared. Golden rune. Oh. No, I can't acquire. Silver butterflies or fireflies are for, but okay. Need to try to remember that this boss is here. Well, I'm assuming I can get back out. Here we go. Huh. I didn't even check my roll with the torch. Should I go try the boss guys or should I go somewhere else? Try, try it. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can put markers on your map if you need to remember something. Sweet. Proper boss fight too. Uh, you can pick up that shiny thing near the bonfire. Oh, did I miss something by the bonfire? Oh yeah, that's right. Running doesn't cost you stamina unless you're in a fight. Summoning pool. Each area. Okay. Small golden effigy. What is it? Sir! I was reading. How rude. Close stone. Okay, so yeah, those are prism stones. Okay. Uh, sent a co-op sign to summoning pools. So that's... That's the way for me to be summoned. That's cool.
If I had missed that cave, though, I would have gotten that. That's messed up. Oh, wow. Okay. Torture the beast. All right. All right, well. Here we go. Beastman of Farm Azala. That's different. Last one. Flame Drake Talisman. Uh, so you can be summoned there. Okay, hold on. No, you could have got it on other places where little statues. Oh, okay. Yeah, it appears on every statue, but I think you can examine those little statues to activate it so you can get summoned there. What TF does your stamina regen so quickly? Because I'm awesome. DS3 stamina was the difference between life and death. Here it regens so quickly. It is in the game. Have the talisman is like rings. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you can only have one? I guess you have to boost fire damage negation. Well, so I don't have anything else to wear. I almost was gonna start using, uh, the spell to heal. Oh, okay, that just teleports me back to the entrance. Neat. This is the way I came in? I guess so. Okay. Neat. You eventually get four spots. Oh, you have to unlock your ring slots. That's interesting. That guy looks cool. Is he a lion dude? Wolf dude? Oh, 
I thank you, Mecca Roden 2000. Thank you very much. Oh, you can go through the... That's kind of cool. You can go through the different... Shortcuts, but you have to get, yeah, you have to get to the lady to level up, right? Need my S to back. Need my S to back. Okay, now I got my S to back. You notice I keep hitting the wrong button for stealth at first. That's not something you see in Dark Souls. Things running away from you. Or just animals in general. Gold tinged excrement. Well, that sounds wonderful. You really like the little animals everywhere? Oh, isn't this where the lady is? Yeah, I played a little bit. I think all I've got past this section and into the castle a little bit. That's as far as I've gotten. Oh, neat. Okay. Thank you, Bosco. Greetings, Atrocious. Hey, buddy. Welcome in. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Let the gods feel your wrath. Could pull. <laughs> right. You heard of the finger maidens. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. Yeah, she's like the uh, firekeeper kind of, right? But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Giggity, giggity. Turning wounds into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. Ah, cool, thank you. To the foot of the earth tree. Well, except she's willing to be my maiden. Yes. 
Is that something different? Another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Horse ring. What happens if you deny it? Do, do you just not be able to level up? If you tell her no here? That sounds like something that Dark Souls would do. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. I was asking like Mecca, maybe he knows. With the level up menu you can spend runes. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Oh, I've got a few levels. Oh, he doesn't know either. Okay. Yeah, you won't be able to level up. It's kind of like the... Uh, Covenant in uh, Dark Souls 2 and uh, Majula. Where you can just take it to make everything more difficult. Well, they had someone like Onion Man. Onion Man's death was the saddest part of DS3. Right? You can dismount. Okay. Pouches from pouch. In the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouch. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. So Y plus up. Sunshine on the Lord of Cinder. Yes. Flask of Crimson Tear. Oh, it's up. Nope. Uh, if you press start, you can see the pouch on the right side of the screen. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, switch and put that there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. if I don't free any men in the dungeons. I think he stays there and dies. He's not there for when you fight the boss. That onion man has no more onions. Yes. Yeah, if you fail... Uh... Yeah, you gotta free him. Yes. Message. Wow, oh, thanks. Appreciate that, buddy. Stealth. Yes. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Dark Souls can sometimes be uh, kind of finicky about that stuff, so I'm not sure. I don't know if I've ever done that. Oh God, what have I done? I had a friend of mine, uh, I was helping him through the game. 
and uh, you know, which I was helping him a lot for the game because he wasn't very good at it. Uh, and you know, when you first meet Onion Man, Sieg, Siegward, yes, uh, you can't go up there, right? Oh. Wow. That's cool. Uh, you can't go up there, like, where he fights the, uh, fire demon. So I couldn't, I could not help him. So he fought the fire demon with, uh, Sigurd without me, and he got Sigurd killed. Sigurd can die there. And the Sigurd's dead. Sigurd's dead. Why? Well, okay. Flail. Uh, equipment. I'm not sure I'm not strong enough. That's sad. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need a dex of 18 to use a flail? <clears throat> okay. I was scared that he would die when I fought the demon. Yeah. I thought there was a sword in one of these. Maybe it's on the other side. Maybe I didn't get close enough to over here. Nope, there's no chest here. Or is it on the front? Ah, it's on the front. Uh, so far it's kind of cool. I tend not to listen or pay too much attention to the music in games, but... So, strength of 16. Okay. I want to say, my first playthrough I used this a bit. Uh, status. Close. Discovery, poise, vigor, run tail, run seated. Okay, so I do not have enough. I thought DS3 had much better menu thing. DS3 is awesome. Oh. Nice. Brass shield. Godric soldier gloves. Rune fragment. Well, the chance the brass shield is better. I'm not strong enough. Yeah. the bats attack the soldiers that would happen in Skyrim if we were playing if this is Skyrim that would happen in Skyrim or Conan or other games but I guess the whole world has a uh, treaty Just to fight us.
golden rune. Mushroom. Hi, buddy. Is this fight sometime? Okay. Walk out to him. Never gets old. I'm a backstabber. I like that hammer, bro. Circling method, yes. Circle strafe, is that what we used to call it? I get that from Dark Souls 2. We're all living in America. Yep. This is the mini boss dude, right? That was a mess up. I hit heavy attack instead of light attack. I'm trying to backstab. Yep. Resistant to the whole backstab thing. Of course, I was worried about the bats. Okay. He liked those Lothar Knights. This kicked my ass so many times. Right? Uh, Vexing an enemy group will replenish your flask. The number of types of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You can replenish more flasks than your maximum amount. That's kind of cool. So I got my flask back. That's different. So since it said I defeated the group, I'm guessing I have cleared this area. That guy blew the horn and nobody else showed up. Ah, this is what I was looking for. 
I vaguely remember something being down here. There's a few items in this area. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, adding skills. With a wet soul knife, you can use ashes of war to grant your armaments new skills and sights of grace. An armor can only have one skill. Any skill that's previously had will be removed. An armaments type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Adding affinities. With a whetstone knife, you can use ashes of war to grant affinities to your armaments at sites of grace. This way, you can alter an armaments attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armaments type determines what affinities it can have. War stop. Whetstone knife. Okay. I didn't miss anything down here, did I? No. He has not. Item ahead. Thank you. Uh, was that fight BS? Uh, it was... I think it was BS. I don't think it was BS. It, uh... Did have a bit of a learning curve to it. Alright, second time got it. Thank you. Never mind. Never know. Do you think it was BS? Something incredible. Oh, cool. More map. What's this? I don't know. here for it. I had to eat real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I can go raise my strength. Uh, let me look around make sure I don't have it missed some. Oh, there's an item over there. This would, this is a place to get murdered. Try hole. Nice. Try stealth. You can break stuff. Hold on. Is durability a thing in this game? A thing that you have to worry about anyway? Back. No. Okay. Thank you. This looks like it should have an item in it. But it doesn't.
Mythic Zone. Ruins are like cells, okay. So it's kind of like a soul of a nameless soldier type thing. Okay. Oh, is that? Uh, okay. Still lose our strength one. Let's see if we can use our couple new items. Both that require strength of sixteen. Just more damage. Yeah, I knew it was too too much to ask. Where's our carry load? Good load. Heavy load. Still heavy load. Demon's Souls is also pretty good. Thoughts on Demon Souls? I haven't played Demon Souls. Well, I've played Demon Souls for about three or four hours. It looks awesome, though. That's the one I played was the LG one. I, I haven't had a PlayStation since PlayStation 1. <laughs> the, uh, my brother has, a play, has it on PlayStation, what, 4? PlayStation 3. And I played it a little bit with him. But I've never played it besides that. I've watched some videos on it and it looks cool. Is just the devs wanting people to suffer. I buy that. Two of the Giants is a scary place. So, should I try to go through here? Let's make a big ass arena with 100 cliffs and to balance it with get two giant skeletons down there as well. Perfect level design. Absolutely. So I want to say I eventually just ran through here. Hmm. Yeah, because giant dude up there.
Horse is good for this area. Double kill? Nice. Uh, try saying stop into the mix. Oh, everybody, you guys gotta try this. Oh, they just want to see me suffer. It's okay. I do, if I want to use the horse at all, I have to get used to him. Is, is there any is there any reason to go back down there? Hmm. Oh, just jump from way up there. That's impressive. Nah. Okay. The game does something interesting when you say it. When I say no, say stop when in combat. But, oh! Golden Seed. I don't know if my mic is on or not. Ducky made a video and said stopped or they stopped. I like this weather effect. It's not something you see in Dark Souls. Little uh, puppies. Goodbye puppies. I forgot to say stop. I'm not sure if my microphone is on or not. It's probably not. I know uh, when the Xbox One first came out, and you know, it was all, uh, everyone had to connect, because you had to have the connect back then with the Xbox One. Somebody was playing. Uh, like Call of Duty or one of those types of games and they named themselves uh, Xbox Off. So when other people would say their name the Xbox would turn off because it was voice activated. Yeah. And he would troll people to make them, you know, tick them off so they would, you know, Xbox off move, no, no, no! <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello. Still no head. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone 
Sitting sideways, okay. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. In I guess. By the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, well, you've come to be warned. Ah, uh, we saw Spider-Man at the beginning. Oh, gotcha. You. Two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. I, I can imagine. She gave me a jellyfish? With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summon typically consumes focus points. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. You can summon spirits in the game. Well, that's different. Pretty sure you have to find the bell first, though. Okay. Alright, she's repeating herself now, so. We can go away. Oh, okay. Guess I could go back to the beginning and go through there. It's a ferrous lockstone. Okay, cool. Right? Interesting. It does feel weird being able to walk around and not know where the hell I am in the Dark Souls game. The ever elusive skull. Okay. Try stay calm. Okay. Oh, there's a dude. I know I'm supposed to go that way. I'm just messing around for the last few minutes of my stream. Somebody's got some hit points.
fire arrow. That looks like a wizard. Did y'all kill a wizard? Did you kill a wizard, bro? Oh, you have no poise, though. I was thinking I was just... Okay, now you got some poise all of a sudden. Great-looking sword, bro. Nice armor. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Uh... Sure, my faith holds firm. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. I picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on to a good and proper tarnished like you. Learn skills, Mike Bernal. Okay. Upward cut. War kick. Indoor. War cry. Spitting slash. Okay, I already can parry. Quick step. Palin thrust. Okay, just making sure he didn't have anything else. Huh. Obviously these look like weapon arcs from Dark Souls 3. Stormblade. Use well on swords, colossal weapons, and twin blades accepted. Colossal weapons accepted. Need some on swords, axes, and pole arms. Should I buy any of these guys? What do y'all think? Kick. I think I'm not going to do them right now. But it's cool that he's here. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, other weapon arts, but you can change them around your weapons. I don't think I use any of them. Flasks. And charge the flask, yes. Ashes of War. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at types of grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. By adding your affinity, you can alter the armament's attack, affinity, boost, accuracy, scaling, and more. An armament type determines what skills and affinity it can have. Okay. Uh, so I can give it War stomp. What's the standard? You 
Okay, so we don't want quality because my dexterity is not great. Okay. There are some weapons really good with Ashes of War built in. Okay. Now, how do I use the Ashes of War? Oh, okay. It's just now instead of parry, I have that. Okay. I'm glad they can't see worth the crap. Ooh. Well, we will end with my first death. Beat a boss. Random dude murdered me. That's all right. It's not like I was going to go deathless anyway. Ooh, I would stream uh, for a few more hours, but I have to be up early in the morning, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to call it here, guys. And it'll be good for dark, for uh, YouTube anyway. Yeah, I like the game. The death. Upon dying, you will be revived to the last side of grace. You visit, you'll drop any rooms in possession side of your death. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh... The, when the game first came out, so far I like it, yeah, so far it's great. When the f game first came out, I tried it, and it was making me dizzy. That's why I didn't finish it. I didn't, I just stopped. I'm not dizzy at all right now. So, maybe if I play it for a few hours, I'll start getting dizzy. I did mess around and go under settings, and I slowed down the camera. Uh, so you can't turn the camera as fast I don't know if that had something to do with it or maybe I was I don't know but yeah I'm having fun so far it's great I like it uh, yeah I will be uh, let's see tomorrow is Thursday I will be on what follow up for tomorrow night yes uh Unfortunately, Friday I'm probably not going to be here, and Saturday, as normal, I'm not going to be here. Uh, well, it happened to me a few times, so it might have been, I have changed medications, so it might have been the medication I was on. Uh, who knows, it might have been anything. Could have been anything, but uh, it could have been just a bad, a bad few days, uh, but... Alright, I'm going to end it here, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you hit the follow button. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I will be back tomorrow night on Fallout 4. Yeah, unless I decide to play something else. Uh, <laughs> everyone have a great night. Thanks for showing up. Well, I appreciate that, Bosco. Uh, everyone, good night. And remember, pretty, be careful.